Once you've gotten used to a ketogenic diet, you're going to want to push your results to the next level. So if you've got your grocery list and your meal planning under control, then it's time to start thinking about intermittent fasting. And okay, before you press pause at the dreaded fasting word, hear me out. Intermittent fasting, also known as IF, is one of today's hottest topics in the diet and wellness communities. And for good reason. If you do it correctly, IF can be an insanely powerful tool for accelerating fat loss and breaking through frustrating weight loss plateaus. Now, it's not essential that you commit to IF while on keto. If the idea of it makes you want to throw your keto diet out the window, then it isn't for you. But if you're up for another adjustment with the potential to ramp up your weight loss and turn you into a fat burning machine, then keep watching. IF basically boils down to two terms, feeding and fasting. You're in a feeding state when you're eating and all the times in between you're fasting. Easy, right? Okay, so here's the deal. There's several different methods for fasting and you get to choose which one works best for your lifestyle. Most people find that at least one of the following is compatible with their life and fits well into their daily routine. Option one, skip meals that prolong the time your body's in a fasting state. Most people choose to skip breakfast or lunch. Option two, rely on the eating windows method. This approach involves eating between a four and seven hour window every day and fasting for the rest of it. Option three, not for the faint of heart. Your third choice is to commit to a 24 to 48 hour cleanse. It's more of an extended fast and I don't recommend it if you're just getting started with IF. So how do you know which option is best? If you're just getting started with fasting, option two is probably the way to go. We found that restricting yourself to specific eating windows tends to work well for new fasters. For example, tons of people have tremendous success only eating between 5 and 11 p.m. And don't forget that the time you spend asleep will account for a chunk of that time. Let's take a closer look at how it works. Say you finish eating at 6 p.m. and start eating again at noon the next day. That means you fasted for 18 hours and eaten for six. In other words, you've achieved an 18-6 window. If you finish eating as early as 5 p.m. and don't eat again until noon the next day, then you've fasted for 19 hours and eaten for five, or you've achieved a 19-5 window. You don't have to adhere to IF every day. You can try it out once a week at first, listen to your body, and then add in more IF days over time. So why does IF work anyway? The first and simplest reason is that our bodies can only take in so much food at a time. If you're someone who struggles with overeating or snacking out of boredom, IF can help to drastically cut those extra calories and keep you within your limits for weight loss. When your body's in a fasting state, it will begin to break down stored fat to use as energy. So if you're following a ketogenic diet, your body is already mimicking a fasting state since it's relying on fat, not glucose, as its main source of fuel. Just make sure that you're still hitting your daily macros and getting enough fat when you're in your eating window. If this sounds overwhelming, don't worry. We've got a tool that builds intermittent fasting into a keto diet regimen customized for your needs and goals. Click the link below this video to discover your personalized plan. And keep in mind that the benefits of IF go far beyond weight loss. After all, there's a reason why every wellness community is talking about it and why thousands of today's top performers have made it a part of their daily routine. People who practice fasting on a regular basis reap tremendous health benefits in many areas, not just by turning their bodies into maximum fat burning machines. Nobel Prize winner Yoshinari Asumi discovered that fasting can trigger autophagy, which is essentially a deep cleaning process for your cells. Autophagy helps to stop the aging process, reverse disease, and prevent cancer. It's basically the body's way of cleaning out cells by recycling non-essential components like damaged proteins and getting rid of invading microorganisms and toxic compounds. Like most complex mechanisms, your body needs a break from feeding, so it can focus on performing these other functions instead. Not only does fasting trigger autophagy, it also increases the number of ketones in your bloodstream more than a keto diet alone will do. When you start practicing IF, you may find yourself more focused than usual. That's because your body is running on ultra premium fuel. If you're on keto, you may have already experienced this heightened mental clarity. So consider adding IF to your routine, a way to get more bang for your buck, so to speak. Lots of people ask me if they can do IF if they're avid exercisers. If that's you, don't worry. Countless studies have shown that intermittent fasting is compatible with fitness routines and can even result in higher metabolic adaptations, improved muscle synthesis, and even better response to post-workout meals. So is IF right for you? If you're not afraid to change it up, burn more fat, focus better, and improve overall health, then I say give it a try. I've honestly never seen as much success as I do with people who combine a ketogenic diet with an IF lifestyle. It's truly the holy grail of weight loss and optimum health. Click the link below this video to create your own customized keto diet plan where you can easily add intermittent fasting into your daily routine.